Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, shine light. Shine light. Uh, shine light. Because I wanna. <laughs> oh my gosh. No sudden movement. This is one of the most venomous snakes in all of Malaysia. And I am so excited to walk up this year. We talked earlier today about you know, that this might be in the area, uh, but we didn't expect to actually be able to come out tonight and find this gorgeous snake. Very, very distinctive. It's the red-headed crate. Uh, my name is uh, Vincent. I'm a senior lecturer in the University of Malaya. Basically, I'm, we are collaborating to collect some data and set up a checklist uh, for herpentofauna, which is uh, reptiles and amphibians in Marapo area. As we are all aware, Marapo is located near Taman Negara and also a few forest reserves surrounding it. There is still lack of knowledge of what is out there. More people, more researchers are prone to do research in national park rather than the forest reserves. What we want to do here, what we aim to do is to promote the wildlife, the diversity of animals that we can find in Merapu itself and also the forested areas nearby Merapu. So at the moment um, with Dr Vince we're going out into the forest on surveys to try and find as many reptiles and amphibians as we possibly can. Um, we're hoping to build a checklist of all the species in the area, uh, which nobody's ever done before. So we plan to compile a checklist of animals, co compile it in a way that we can promote it to people about the wildlife that we can find here and hopefully raise awareness about conservation, raise awareness of what actually is around. The, uh, the book that we hope to produce is uh, consists of various animals like uh, pentofauna, birds and insects and small mammals. So it will be like biodiversity in terms of these few uh, groups of animals in Marapo. I think it's quite hard to find uh, reptiles and amphibians in this area. Uh, basically for amphibians we found around 15 species to 17 species so far. But uh, for reptiles wise like uh, lizard, geckos and snakes, uh, it's pretty hard. Probably we are still trying to figure out why is it so hard to find uh, reptiles here. So, so far we've probably found I think upwards of three or four species of snake, which is a really good start and something that we can really build from. So far it's definitely been better going out at night uh, into the forest and walking along waterways to find things. Um, we're finding, particularly in Malaysia, the reptiles and the amphibians are much more active during that time of the day. Uh, we are not doing any research yet, but we hope in the future, once we know what we can find, what is feasible to do, what are the potential for us to do, then we will apply for a permit, we will do research over here. As of now, what we want to do is just compile a checklist. So now we have a team of herpers. Next, we will have a team of birders coming in, and then we will also invite experts uh, on small mammals, on large mammals, to document all this. Once we are done with all this compilation, we get the photos, we will hopefully produce a book, and then the next step is to do research. And with this research, we can show to the government, to the stakeholders, why is it so important to conserve the forest in and around Merapu. Without this data, without this accountable data, there's not much we can do.